My name is Mike Horton. I'm a staff orthodist and prosthetist at Horton's Orthotics and Prosthetics. We're a small family practice. I think we strive to build a rapport and a relationship specifically with the patient. And then once we establish that relationship with the patient, we become a friend with them, especially with our amputees. You know, some of our orthotic patients, we may see them one time. You know, they have an ankle sprain or whatever. They're in, they're out, they're gone. Prosthetic patients are patients for life. My name is Chris Madison. I am an attorney for a city outside of Little Rock called Bryant, Arkansas. I have been a patient of Horton since college, so 20 something years. I've been with Mike Horton probably 15 years. One of the things besides just my everyday work life, I'm also a triathlete doing Ironman distance triathlons, marathons, century bike rides. So I live a pretty active lifestyle and that's an important part of my relationship with Horton. In 2013, I went to Mike and realized that the walk leg that I had wasn't sufficient to do running or racing and uh, talked with him about getting a running leg built. And we partnered to get a running leg, the foot and the mechanics and the, the fit and all that for me so that I could do running. And uh, then I got into cycling, which is a part of triathlon and worked with Mike uh, for months, went through two different versions of bike legs so that I could get the right kind of fit and the angle and the geometry. And it's that attention to detail on those tools that I need that I appreciate from Hortons. I'm not just a number that they're running through. They want me to be successful. And it's that relationship that really makes it so powerful for me. Most everything we, we deliver we're also trained to do is we make custom. So we actually fabricate these things. We have a lab. We've integrated a new CAD CAM system. So learning to do things on a computer screen and having it milled out by a machine has is, is definitely made things a lot more precise. That being said, there are still some old techniques by hand that work great. And I think most practices combine the two, so I don't want to say that that part's not exciting because it is very hands-on what we do. We still deal with patients uh, when we fit whatever it is, any type of brace or a prosthesis, it has to interface and fit that person very intimately. There is no doubt that they want you to function as as high a level as you want to function. And their mission, whether they say it or express it, but the way it's just felt is they want me to be able to do the best I can and they don't want a orthotics or a prosthetic to prevent me from doing that. It's not just how they say it, it's how they actually spend the time and energy to get you to that point. What I share with all, all of my amputees, especially my new amputees, is we provide an orthosis or prosthesis, but really what we're providing is a clinical outcome. For me to measure my success, we have to measure the success of the patient. So if they're coming into me initially at whatever functional level, I expect to see them at a much higher functional level. So. The relationship I want with all the people I work with is I want it to be close enough that they feel comfortable to communicate with me. So if things aren't right, they don't feel like they're performing at 100% because of anything that I may be providing, that's when we need to see each other. I try to treat people how I'd want to be treated and that's how I measure my success. I want you to be as functional as you possibly can be.